Hey everyone, welcome back to my coding series from my uh, 2018 VW Mark 7.5 Golf R. So today uh, we're going to do some quick coding on the heated seats. So by default from the factory, the way the heated seats work is when you you know turn them on and you set your temperature. Uh, on the driver's side, once you uh, shut the car off and you open the door, it will keep that memory for 10 minutes and then after 10 minutes it will be lost so if you go into the mall to do some shopping an hour later you come back out it will not remember your heated seat setting and you'll have to reset it when you start the car up the passenger side is even worse that never remembers the heat setting no matter what um, even if you came back within 10 minutes so we are going to change that little annoyance so that the heated seats always remember the last setting that they were in so when you get out of the car, it doesn't matter how long you're away, the next time you get in, uh, your settings will come on exactly the way you left them. So we're going to do the same thing we always do. Um, we're going to go into our OBD11 app. So if you're not familiar with this, check out my first coding video. Um, we're going to connect to the car. Just make sure your ignition is on. The engine should not be running. Okay, and then you're gonna go into your control units. Now this makes sense, this would be under air conditioning because that's where the heated controls are. So we're going to go under, under uh, control unit 8, air conditioning. Okay, and then we're going to go under adaptation. And you're going to scroll down and look for the word retention. And there it is right here. It says retention of the driver's seat heater level. And right below it is retention of the front passenger seat heater level. So if we go to the passenger seat first here, you can see right now it's set to not active. So that means it doesn't retain it at all. And then when you pick your choice here, you have three choices, not active, active, and active for 10 minutes. So if you want to just have it active for 10 minutes and you think you'll be back in the car most of the time by 10 minutes, then set it to that. But I'm going to set it to active so it always remembers the last setting and say OK. And then hold and press the green button. And then I got adaptation accepted. So then we're going to go back and we're going to do the same thing for the driver's seat here. Now you can see this one by default says active for 10 minutes. That's the factory default. So they don't have the two seats set the same. So we're going to go in there and just make it completely 100% active all the time. So it always remembers the last setting. Say OK. And then hold down our button. Adaptation accepted. OK. Then we're just going to exit out completely. Exit out of the tool. Okay, we're disconnected from the car. All right, so we're in the car right now. So we're gonna set the driver's side here to three settings and the passenger to one. All right, so we got one over here. We got three over here. Okay, we're gonna shut the car off. Okay, we're gonna open our door as if we got out. All the electronics shut down, close the door, etc. Now we're back in the car after coming back from shopping. We're gonna turn on the ignition again. And there it is. So my uh, setting for my driver's side is still three, and my setting for my passenger is still one. So if I turn them both off, so they're completely off right now, turn off the ignition, okay, open the door, all the electronics shut off, pretend we get back in an hour later, turn on the engine, or turn on the ignition, either one. And of course, now they're off and off. So that's it. 
Uh, so now the heated seats will remember my setting and it won't keep resetting it. So I don't have to keep changing it all the time every time I get in the car. And that's it for uh, this coding lesson on a 2018 Mark 7.5 Golf R. Peace.